All right, so we were just going down the fret net, uh, board, which is going the opposite of the caged word, which starts on the D shape, goes to the E shape, then to the G shape, then to the A shape, then to the C shape. So that's just a little review, you know, but that's not the subject of the, it, it is pretty important. It's very important. So this particular chart was or is the second to last chart that I made, which is kind of a final word on aliasing. String shape aliasing, cage string pattern pair sets, string note targeting for, for key scale tone matching. Okay, so that's, that's three different things. Um, the string note targeting just sticks in my mind a minute is right here where we have string pair circle where we can target each note in a major scale the root the two the three the four the five the six the seven it doesn't matter what key it is because the fret the whole fretboard system the whole cage system can be like moved one way or the other in, in, in half steps, whatever, you know, wherever, but you have to agree on something. You have to play in a key. You know, you can't just start playing in C and then play in A flat. Yeah, you know, unless you want to do that. You know, unless you want to go up in major thirds, you know. But you have to agree on a key. So once you set in the cage system somewhere, then then the the root has to be somewhere so you have to agree where the root is the ge is the is the string pairs that go along with the root in other words the root the root is we're going to get it right to it right here the root is center mass you know what center mass is it, it's the center it's the it's the tonal center kind of thing of the G shape and the E shape. Now, what is the G shape? What is the E shape? The G shape is six seven root because when you play a G, just a regular G, that E becomes the sixth of the G. So that's why the 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 E the G shape is six seven root because it's the it's the small scale fragment on the bottom string and that i've designated as the g shape in the system that i have i'm teaching you showing you and it works and then there in the cage system you know c a g e d so g goes to e they are shared here the seven and the root are shared by the e shape but let's look at this when we play an e when we play an e shape down here right the e becomes the root what happened to the seven all right, well, let me take the capo off, and now I'm going to extend the fretboard down lower than the normal guitar can go. The normal E shape, the true E shape, is 7 root 2, not just root 2. It's 7 root 2. So uh, we would just continue. The fifth of E is B, but it's an augmented fifth, so we go to the C shape. Because remember, when we play a C, okay, the E becomes the three. So it's three, four, five. So these string shapes were derived from the cage system. Three, four, five is the C shape. The C shape goes to the G shape. When we play a G, the E becomes the sixth of, of G, six, seven root. When we go the fifth of G to the D shape, the E becomes the second of the D shape. 
So it's 2, 3, 4. D would be the fourth of the, um, of the key of D, right? The fourth of D is, is, is G. And so on. We go to the A shape. The E becomes the fifth of A. So that's why the shapes have their, that's why the string shapes have their, uh, their numbers. Put the, the string shapes together in the cage system where we have string sharing. And I think the, um, note sharing, the best, the best demonstration of note sharing is between the A shape and the G shape. So let's just look at that. Let's look at our A. Okay, now if I capo that A where we just played our three little action fingers for that A and I play a G shape, we're essentially, we're hitting those same three notes. So they are shared by the A shape. The A shape and the G shape are, are string pattern pairs. So let's look at that. There's your A, there's your G. And the bottom string of all that action, not not the when I was playing that A, it was the action was up here, but the bottom string down on that A shape is five six. And then we go to the G shape, sharing that six. Okay, the sixth of uh, of A is is F sharp. So it's F sharp, uh, G sharp, A. That's, a, that's your A, your root A. So that's a little background on the string shapes. That's where they come from. They're the bottom strings of the cage shapes when you're playing the chords. So let's zoom out. And I'm going to get a sip of coffee. This stuff's terrible, but I put extra cream in it. So what do we have in this chart? Another subject we have string shape aliasing and cage string pattern pair sets. Okay, so we just talked about uh, the, the pattern pair sets. And we also began talking about the last subject was targeting individual notes. So let, let's look at a five. It has it right here for you. Five is CA. All right, so five is the C shape and the A shape. So let's look at the C shape and the A shape right here. This is the lower string in the C cage shape, three, four, five. This is the lower string in the A shape, five, six. So the five is the action, the shared note at that point. So if you play any kind of a five, let's say you start on a, a G, which is the fifth of C, right? To the right, you're going to get the A shape, and to the left, we'll get the C shape. Okay, now if I do that down here, watch this. Those were the two pentatonic scales of C and A in the key of C. And they, you know, so they, they, they do share that five on the bottom string. Now, the wonderful thing about the system is, and we can go on over, well, before we talk about that, we got to get to the LA sing, but I'm going to go right over to today's chart. This is brand new, brand spanking new. And this, I'm only showing you this, I mean, the idea is old. The idea is a month old or something like that that I've been using the string shapes, but we'd like to remind you and use this little diagram is that the string shapes, say the C shape on the bottom now, I'm just using the, the no play note as a little billboard that says this is the C shape, three, four, five. This is the A shape, five, six. This is the G shape, six, seven root. This is the E shape, seven root two. This is the D shape, two, three, four. You see how nicely they fit into the accidentals there? Or they're just no play notes. The point is that the three, four, five can be anywhere on the keyboard. You see all these C's? They're all three, four, five. They're all three, four, five. So no matter where you start,